everybody, welcome back to the Gamer Muscle YouTube channel and welcome back to my humble virtual reality abode with jellyfish, fireplace full of trees and uh, my little seat with a bow and arrow on it. This place is nicer than my real place. I think I might upload myself into virtual reality and be done with reality. Just like a, like a bad 80s sci-fi film. But we're not here to talk about my house. We're here because we're going to talk about Gun Club VR and do some shooting. Now, I ignored Gun Club VR because I thought, I'm a bit fed up with uh, virtual reality shooting galleries. And, uh, you know, there's, let's, let's, to put it mildly, there's quite a few virtual reality shooting galleries, perhaps too many. And I was just bored of them. But I loaded this up last night thinking, well, check it out. We'll give it a good half hour. And three and a half hours later, we were still playing. <laughs> now, it is a shooting gallery, so don't expect it not to be. And it is a rather simplistic game as well. Um, but it doesn't pretend to be anything else. It, you know, it's not trying to be anything other than a shooting gallery. So it does that. It does the shooting gallery thing really well. It also has the general structure of, of what you would typically find with a mobile phone game. So, you know, you, you unlock weapons as you progress through, or you, you earn money, which you can then spend on upgrades for your, for your different weapons that you can then use in the shooting galleries. And you gradually unlock different events and different weapons that you can use on the different shooting galleries. Really, it really is super simple, but immensely satisfying. The reload mechanic is pretty standard to what you typically find with most VR titles in that you press down on the uh, analog stick, you grab your, your bullets from your waist, you stick them in your gun, you cock your gun back and you've reloaded. Really nicely done. Very sort of reminiscent of Pavlov and that, those types of games. Just really polished. Clear. Just works. You, you don't, you know, it just feels natural. Dominating. Do your events. There's your money. There's our result. There's a score. We've leveled up. We're, we're professional cardboard zombie killers. It's simple. I say it feels very much. It does have a very mobile phone game feel to it <laughs> in its structure and presentation. But it doesn't pretend to be anything else. It's, it's not trying to be like a crazy fancy virtual reality game. It's not like, oh, we've got hands, oh, we've got guns, oh, we've got to do all this VR stuff. It's just genuinely a fun game to play. Let's do the pistol. I'm going to shoot some targets. Uh, we'll do one in the day because I don't think at night you'll be able to see that clearly. So there we go. Let's try this one out. Still got the torch and a gun for no reason. Oh. Some of the targets shoot back at you. They, they take their training very serious here. You'll also notice that the targets are divided up into oh, different zones. Stage clear. So you get points for headshots, you get points for combos, you get points for accuracy. So if you're really into this sort of target shooting type gameplay, and personally, I'm a massive fan of the 90s arcade shooters like uh, Point Blank 1, 2, 3, and uh, Aim for Cash, Time Crisis, all those kind of games. It doesn't have a plot and story like House of the Dead, Time Crisis, and those kind of games. It's a pure target shooter. But if you're into that, it's so tight, so responsive. It just feels fantastic. Let's uh, do one more, go one more go with the pistol here. Uh, sustained exercise, what's this about? Well, we'll give that a go. We've got the side, side show, so we'll try that. I think this is a target's rotating, so here we go. So fun. It just absolutely just takes me back to playing Point Blank. Obviously, it doesn't have the cartoon humour to it. I think the game... some The criticism of this game, we've been positive about it. I'll give some criticism. Um, I would say... Let's try and beat our time. Time taken, 7 seconds, 30. Let's restart that. So, in terms of criticism, I would say... Lack of humour... It would be nice if I had a bit more humour to it. 
Stage clear. I think it's because we threw the gun over there. That's why it went funny. Um, also, oh, we got an achievement there. That's nice. Also, what the, the pistols. I don't know if we can unlock attachments to reduce this. But the pistols have a sort of default, default recoil put Stay into them. Clear. Where if you keep firing... Let's restart this. So if I keep firing at the wall over here... It recoils up to a point and then stops. I, I would prefer it if the game didn't you know i don't think we can no we can't grab onto the gun there's no way to steady it you kind of have to just wait for that recoil to go down i guess that as an element of skill in that you you have to tilt your gun down to avoid the recoil jedi mind return but uh that that i find mildly annoying that you can't play it exactly like <laughs> your old school shooters but those i guess those had a physical recoil on them But everything is just super, super slick. Now let's go to one of the assault rifle stages. We'll give that a go. So you can go through your weapon. You can go back forwards and backwards because there's so many missions. You'll start unlocking weapons before you've done all the different missions that are available and got all the all the scores available to you on them. Let's try this slide, uh, side show with the uh, assault rifle. That'll be fun. Do one easy. Oh, we have to wait for the timer to finish. If we get really good, we'll be able to spray these. Let's try, let's try that again. We dominated it, but I think we can do it again. This, this is what happened last night. Oh, no, I forgot. You've got to cock your gun, guys. If you don't cock your gun, you're not going to have a good time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> just, you just want to keep getting better at it. Maybe maybe this is just me. Maybe I, I have a propensity to get addicted to this type of game. But oh. oh yes, we lined that up just with the recoil. Fantastic. Re really simple. <laughs> There's not that much more you can say. It's a shooting gallery, but it's done bloody well. Let's see what else we can do. We've got action here. I've only done three of these. I'm not sure what to expect. Let's get back to the pistol. We should be able to buy something else in a bit. Three, two, one, go. Get multiple headshots. Oh, this is where you, you can move around through this one by pointing where you're going. To be honest, I would love... I mean, this is... This would be absolutely perfect as a Time Crisis game and you, you would point to the next location you want to go to. The only thing this differs from Time Crisis, really, is... Obviously, it's in virtual reality, but there's just cardboard cutouts. If you had an environment and a story you progress through, you point to the different locations you go to, <laughs> you've, you've got... An incredibly slick world and time crisis. I just really hope the developer of this is making more virtual reality games. As I say, this doesn't feel like a VR game. Let's see what we can get from the store. Let's try an SMG out. Because you often find with VR games, many of them do feel... Weapon unlocked. They do have that kind of VR feel to them. You're like, okay, well, this is amazing we're in VR, but it kind of feels battery, it kind of feels unpolished, it feels like there's stuff missing, it, it feels like it, it feels like it's been done by an indie developer. And they could be really fun. Um, Onwards, Pavlov and other shooters and many other VR games can be absolutely fantastic. I, I love them over many normal 2D games, even AAA titles that have come out. But they do feel like indie titles, whereas though this has in many ways the depth of a mobile phone game it just feels completely polished i i can really really hard to fault it on a technical level i don't know how to cock an smg oh okay there we go <laughs> 
Ah! Oh, I mean, I'd l love for this to have a... Uh, like a two-player mode where you both go through it and you're trying to compete against each other's scores. Again, like, aim for cash, as I say. Aim for cash. Point blank. Aim for cash was the uh, last version of point blank that I used to play a lot. Ah! Oh, no! You also notice the, the UI is really nicely done and really clear. It's really obvious where enemies are popping up and appearing because it gives you a highlight in the corner. It's not done in, a, an, in a, an obnoxious way, though. It's done so that you know, you're aware of it and it's clear and it just doesn't get in the way of the gameplay. Oh, yeah. Come on. Ah! Ah! Oh, I missed one. See, now we've missed a target. You have to redo the whole thing. <laughs> Stage clear. Right, we've got to do that again. We missed one target. That's not acceptable. Oh, oh we got five stars. Okay, we'll go to the next one. <laughs> Should we do, do another rifle one? I mean, just so much fun. Uh, assault. Yeah, we'll do these. And we go. It's bizarre to me that this game, I, I've actually had so, tons more enjoyment playing this than I have done playing Doom VFR. Despite Doom VFR having... Oh, oh no! <laughs> no! Oh, we, we failed the hostage. Despite Doom VFR having, you know, nicer animations, arguably nicer graphics, and, you know, free locomotion, well, teleportation locomotion, Doom VFR, it doesn't feel like a cohesive title. It feels awkward. It, it, you know, there's satisfaction to it, but it, it's just not... It just doesn't feel... It feels experimental. This feels right. Let's restart that and not fail the hostage Three, this time. Two, one, engage. Oh! Holding the gun wrong. Come on. No! Got him. Got him. Uh, can't wait to play the harder levels on this. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Awesome. But I think there you go. I think, I think that pretty much... We'll do a zombie level, actually. But then that pretty much sums up this game. Gun Club VR... I would highly recommend it, which is weird. I, I, I would I wouldn't have thought I would be recommending what is essentially a virtual reality mobile phone game. I wouldn't have thought I'd be going in that direction. I do it in daylight, so it's nice and clear here. Three. But on the uh, scale of fun, on a, on a genuine scale of just having fun. This is actually really quite high and very addictive. Don't don't expect to load this up if you're into whoa, if you're into arcade shooters. Nice little clear ammo counter at the bottom. If you're into those arcade style shooters, as say Point Blank, Time Crisis, House of the Dead, you'll love this. And to, to be honest, if this came out in the 90s as a, as a VR arcade shooter, you know. It'd probably, you know you know what it's like in the 90s when we start getting crazy with the arcade cabinets. It'd probably be like five pounds for two minutes. But this this would have been people would have been going, oh my god, this is the best shooter that's ever come out. Obviously it's not the 90s, it's an absurd comparison to make, but I think what'd be fascinating as well is This sort of game to me would seem to be perfect for mobile VR and when we got inside out tracking for a mobile VR game I could see teenagers that were or anyone that would go up and be, and be sort of seeing VR as a single unit that you'd pick up as you would pick up like a games console on Nintendo Switch I could see how this would be super desirable if you, you'd be like okay I buy it I buy a VR headset and I can play this 
without anything else. That would absolutely blow your mind. It is rather unfortunate you have to plug this into a computer at this point in time, but just incredible. So there you go. That is Gone Club VR. I don't know if you can see... Oh, you guys can't see that logo. <laughs> I was hoping if I zoomed in, you'd be able to see it. But that's Gun Club VR on the Oculus Rift. I can't recommend it anymore, really. I've, I've played through it for about... Probably about four hours now. <laughs> Just totally addicted to it. Don't expect the, mo the deepest of games. Expect a shooting gallery with mobile phone-like mechanics, but with a lot of polish and that's genuinely enjoyable. There's not much more to say. Unlock your guns, shoot cardboard cut out targets, get better with the accuracy, have a good time.